nine steps to improve your sales page conversions in this video I'm gonna share with you a checklist of nine steps that you can use to improve your sales page conversions and make more money and we're starting right now hey jr fisher here don't forget subscribe right now go down there and click that subscribe button and like this video don't forget to smash the bell there's a little bell next to it you got to click that bell and turn on all notifications now I've been selling online since 2009 and I've sold millions of dollars worth of physical and digital products and on this channel I share those techniques with you so you can start run and grow your online business hey I got something special for you too at the end of this video I've got a $97 e-commerce course that you can grab absolutely free as an experiment I'm doing right now so check that out in the description below let's face it there's millions of people making millions of dollars online and the only difference in them and you is the techniques they use and the tools that they have access to so all those things I share with you on this channel have you tried to make sales pages or landing pages on your own what experience have you had what problems have you run into let me know in the comments below now landing pages are super important companies that have increased their landing pages by 10 to 15 percent are seeing a 50 percent increase in sales having those individual pages targeting individual products can really boost your sales now the biggest problem in the past 30 years is a company's inability to actually create effective landing pages so in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to do it now on average the average landing page converts from one to three percent but the companies that are optimizing those pages are seeing two to three times that conversion rate just by using a few simple tricks that I'm going to show you in this video now the truth is to really get data and to know what your conversion is you actually got to build the pages first and then optimize them but these tips will help you do that in the beginning and then once you've got some data once you've got some conversion statistics you can make little tweaks in there and improve them more and more number one understand your campaign goals your goal is not to sell them all the products on your site the CTA or call to action should only have one offer so many landing pages that businesses make have multiple offers on there and they end up confusing the consumer and they never end up buying anything so keep in mind you've got to know what your campaign goal is and that campaign goal is to sell that one product or one service and not give multiple offers number two write simple and straightforward headlines now you only have a few seconds to hold that person's attention so that headline should actually describe the result of what that person wants to get a good example would be new mothers learn how to lose seven pounds in 14 days without cutting out the food you love that's a result that they're looking for that's the kind of headline you should have on your landing page a lot of people think that if they have a really pretty landing page that's gonna make them a lot of money but no matter how pretty your landing page is without good content on the page you're not gonna make any sales number four is use the right images the right images are crucial do not make a page that doesn't sell your product or service I looked at a landing page the other day and it was from a dog trainer and she has good pictures of her and her dog and she trains dogs and tons of pictures but she had pictures of other dogs that were unreal related to her business that was not good image continuity you've got to have good image continuity those images have to sell your product and service at all times take this for example brother uh, this is a website dedicated to helping companies find the right meeting rooms uh, it has a great landing page that sport high-definition images coupled with really cool icons to highlight their selling points and here's something important to remember good content coupled with a great image equals high conversions try to get them right both at the same time number five employ CTAs that make users take action what do I mean by CTA I'm talking about a call to action I'm talking about a button make sure that button has a color that contrasts with the background don't let it blend in make sure it stands out if you can put a shadow behind that button do that the better that button is the more it stands out the higher your conversions are going to be 
make sure the size of the button is large enough to where people can see it too often people will put a button size on there that's so small that you can't even find it on the page in addition to that make sure the message on the button really says what they're gonna get if it's download a course have the button say download a course not click here make sure that the button actually is the call to action now in this landing page here Neil Patel's CTA is the perfect example of how a message can push customers into taking much needed action and if you notice the button actually says what he wants you to know teach me how to get 100,000 visitors it actually says what the call to action is number six is highlight the value proposition let these people know that you've got something extraordinary to share with them or to sell them and it's a great deal if you do this on your landing page you're gonna get much higher conversions take for example this landing page with uber uber's landing page does a great job with their unique value proposition we have heard stories about people who quit their monotonous jobs just to drive a cab for uber but why this landing page possesses the right value position to attract such people who are looking to have financial independence that's what they're going after words like good money and work when you want to work and no office and no boss really resonate with these people to truly sell the person on the landing page you need to understand their pain points even better than they do if you can describe their pain points better than they can you're gonna get a sale number seven is loading time matters if that page takes a long time to load it can cost you a lot of sales now Google has a tool called Google page speed insight you can go there and you can find out why your page is loading fast or not loading fast and make the corrections that are going to be necessary remember your landing page is the deal breaker make sure it loads super super fast and you'll see an increase in your sales number eight is optimize your form fields now what do I mean by that if you ask for a lot of information up front from somebody the odds are they're not gonna opt in if you're asking for first name last name phone number email and address you're gonna get a lot fewer people than if you just ask for an email address if you want to get more information after getting the email address you can always do so but it's so important to get the email address first the highest converting pages only ask for an email address now check out this here bills.com is a debt management system and it makes use of a multi-form in a smart way by asking the customers to choose their debt amount and then goes ahead and collects their information afterwards they've already given up the information about the debt now you can ask for their personal information because they're already involved and just a simple point to remember users are more likely to give up an email address than they are a phone number so if you have to pick one or the other always go for the email and then you can follow up to make an appointment and possibly get their number later number nine is a B test your pages this is the toughest thing for people and I know I've experienced it too where you have a page that's working and you don't want to mess with it if you use a software that can do an a B test we use Kartra and I'll put a link in the description below where you can get Kartra for a dollar it can automatically do this AB split test for you. Couple things to remember though if you're doing an AB split test, only change one thing. Don't change two or three things on the page because you won't know which page change actually made the difference. For example, if you want to change the headline, just change the headline. Have the exact same page, both of them identical except for the headline. If you don't want to do the headline, you want to do an image, that's fine too. Just change the image, but don't change the headline. Remember, just change one variable at a time figure out which one converts better and then you can go back and split test that page again now landing page optimization is not an exact science however these nine rules will help you out immensely if you put them into practice continually test your pages continually try new things and you'll see your conversions go up now if you like this video do me a favor go down there and click that subscribe button don't forget to like this video and turn on the bell notification smash the bell right next to it there when you do that and you turn on all notifications we can let you know every single time we do a new video and that way you won't miss a single thing now don't forget if you have questions about your landing page optimization put them below in the comments section I would love to hear them and grab your free course oh my gosh I almost forgot you can get a free e-commerce course a $97 value absolutely free I put the link in the description I'll see you in the next video
Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.